In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own control program on a DXR2 controller. If you like to do that, uh, having a controller without the Zigo room automation, standard applications, then you can in the APT site configurator select one type in the library, for example here the fan call unit type, then select the corresponding hardware you are requiring and then add that template to the project. Give it a proper name and then the creation of that template starts. The template which is going to be created will have no pre-selected choices in the choice editor and by just leaving there no choices and going directly to the room programming editor, we getting an MTE18 controller of the DXR2 family. I will now pause the video quickly until the configurator is ready. So, configurator is ready now and as you can see we have here no selection done at all on the inputs and also on the outputs. There are no features and function selections selected. Also on the Connex PL link devices there is no selection done. Now simply pressing here duplicating and programming will start the application. Uh, programming, the room programming editor in apt site. I give it a proper name and now the apt site room programming editor starts with an empty DXR2 E18 controller and until this is done I will quickly also here pause the video. So the room programming editor meanwhile has opened and we see here already the empty uh, controller without any application function or also peripherals. There is one thing you need to remember when you want to start to create own code here. Uh, when you go to the room segment where you can place your additional own control program, you need to click once into the room segment editor here for being able then later on here to add a control program. So without the focus here on that uh, room segment editor field here in the first line where the filter icon is, you are not able to add it here. So that's a little trick. So then you're able to add the control program here and start coding your own control program. Of course, uh, the same principle applies as we have shown in the earlier videos. You can work now from the libraries with the inputs, outputs, and also with the peripheral devices here in the CFC and in the room segment editor. Another way to add your control program, of course, is always then also here with the context menu there it's also possible to add your control program. That's, uh, that's the video about how to add your own control program on an empty DXR2 controller. 